How to make camera shutter click effect in Premiere Pro like Johnny Harris? So first of all, what you need to do is to keyframe the photo you have on your timeline. Go to the effect controls, move the keyframe about 5 to 7 frames from the start position, then hit toggle animation. Then go back to the start and try to move the image down a little bit. Try to increase the scale of the image a little bit if you don't want the empty dark section at the bottom right here. Next up, right click on the last keyframe, expand the temporal interpolation menu and then click on ease in. Then click on this marker right here so that way we have a graph view. Pull this line to the left and as you can see we're already cooking something right here. To add some magic to this effect we're gonna add some Gaussian blur. Go to your effect menu, type Gaussian blur under video effects then drag it to your photo. Hit toggle animation at the start and set the blurriness about 30 to 40 percent. Then move 5 or 6 frames forward and then hit the keyframe button again. Now change the value of the blurriness to 0. And to finish it off we're gonna add the camera sound effect. You can find these sound effects online and I might link these sound effects in the description so you can download them. Drag the sound effect to the start of the image and let's test it out. And there you go, we gave our image a Johnny Harris documentary style to it. One trick you can use so you don't have to do this with all of your other images is to right click on your image, press copy on the top right here, then right click on your other images and press paste attributes. Click on ok, add the camera sound effect to them as well and boom. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Also check out these other tutorials.